Aww, Geek, Geek Out! Out! Pinky's up. Time for another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about Elsewhere, Volume 1, by uh, um, Jay Ferber and uh, uh, Sumia Kesken. The first volume comes out on uh, Wednesday, uh, January 3rd. Jake, what do you think of the book? Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, we I, Did we do a review for the first issue? We did, and we interviewed Jay. I remember we interviewed him, but I can't remember if we did a review for the first issue. First issue this, and this uh, collection uh, collects the first four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll just want to make sure. Um, because I think it's really cool. I think at the time, remember the time... Um, we were talking to him. They had like that History Channel. Was the History Channel did a show about? Well, they just Amelia had this Earhart? like it's just the news had kind of come back on like this is the potential photo of her. Yeah, uh, which so, was kind of like perfect timing. Nice little kismet. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting. You know, like uh, a fast. She led a fascinating life. And this book, to its credit, is like I, you know, started reading a lot about her. I was really interested in kind of her life. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's cool seeing. Not just her show up in this book, um, but what's this? DB um, Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Uh, another infamous. Where'd he go? <laughs> Perhaps the <laughs> last really, like, you know, yeah, because there's aviator a, that just kind of disappeared out of nowhere. There, there is a you know, how about what twenty years between the two of their disappearances? I think something like that, maybe uh, more, because he's seventies and she's like, oh, he's the seventies. Okay, yeah, so, okay, like why seventy two? Okay. Something reason, like that. I was, I was thinking the fifties. Either way. It's an interesting way to make it, to, to kind of like play with the idea of these two characters what happened to them. Yeah, um, kind of putting them in this fantasy world that's been ripped asunder by civil war. Yes, um, and Where time apparently has no meaning. No, it doesn't because you know certain characters feel like they've been there for like no time at all, or they've been there for you know years, yeah. years. Um, so yeah, it's it's fun seeing this kind of um, alternate take. Yeah, because we've seen like fantastical civil wars before. Mm-hmm. Um, like on these alien worlds, you know, we obviously read a lot of comics um, for the program, but the um, the idea of taking like these real life historical figures and kind of staying true to their nature and, you know, you know, finding that voice and then injecting it in there is what really makes this one, you know, it sets it apart. It's, yeah, it's fun. Um, and it's really cool seeing like 1930s esque environments um, without going into too much detail, like, you know, they stu- they stumble across other, you know, DB and, and Amelia stumble across other objects and mm-hmm. relics mm-hmm. from other points of Earth's history. Yes. Combined with this weird alien world of, would you call them like lizard men? Yeah. Lizard men. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's the best way to describe it, I think. They remind to get me, a visual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lizard men. I mean, the, they literally hit the ground running with this. Yeah, and across you know all four issues, it's and it kind of like totally reminds me of, um, you know eighties eighties cartoons like mm-hmm. like uh, you know to a lesser degree like He Man or or uh, Thundercats and that it, it's kind of got that sense of fun that swashbuckling yeah. sense of fun against a uh, nefarious warlord. Absolutely. Um, who looks metal as shit? Metal is metal as shit. Metal as hell. Um, and, you know, Sumia does a great job on the artwork too, oh, yeah. making it very, oh, yeah. uh, very expressive, and kind of creating these just these weird new worlds filled with again, lizard men. <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm trying to think if they have something like in in universe where they call them. They're like, we are the. I can't remember. Corlatins. I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I have so many book reviews, I can't remember what we've if we've done single issues. Can't remember. You know, I just we've done so many, which is a blessing in itself. Over a hundred. Shit. Yeah, over 100. Um, Fuck. <laughs> also, the holidays, I'm sure, have left you shell-shocked. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, you know, check this out. It, it's it's a fun, you know, it's just a good time. Yeah. It, you know, it's it's a fun look at, at, at kind of this fantasy genre with a little historical fiction mixed in for good measure that kind of gives it a... a action adventure Indiana Jones vibe. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe this is what happened to him. To Indiana Jones? No, no, no. To D.B. <laughs> Cooper and Amelia Earhart. We'll oh. never know. Yeah. I remember seeing that, the- that theory that she was eaten by crabs. What? Just look online. I mean, I-, I went through like a bunch of her theories. I did not come across. Th- I mean, I'm, you know, they come up with everything. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's not true. <laughs> Me too, for it's her sake. Terrible. Yeah. It would be quite a mysterious island way to go. Um, but yeah. So again, out in comic book stores everywhere on Wednesday, January 3rd. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. It's been another Geek Out Book Club, so keep reading.
This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.